the chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, he don't approve the carrying of three of the commission national commissioners and seven resident electoral commissioners, Rek Tokogi. Ahmed Biambo, YMBCB or Gao of Voter Education and Publicity Department for local office of the INEC, Joe Wedisian, on Monday. He called the three national commissioners names, say, there be Mohammed Aruna, Solomon Shrebi, and retired AVM Ahmed Mwazu. Has he said the Reg WMC affect na Malam Ibrahim Abdullahi, Professor Riskua Shu, and Emeka Nonamadu from Baoshi State, Kano State, and Enugu State as the hot. Miambo said the three resident electoral commissioners don't show Lokoja early to join the state resident electoral commissioner, Professor James Abam, preparatory to the state governorship election on November 16. He said the remaining four residential electoral commissioners will show the state on November 9 to join their co-workers. In Kogi State, the governorship election will be combined with the Kogi West senatorial rerun election by order of the Election Petition Appeal Tribunal. The total number of registered voters in the senatorial district is 432,000. 515. For the governorship election in Bielsa State, as we all know, the state has eight local government areas, 105 registration areas, 1,804 polling units, and 923,182 registered voters, of which 498,790 representing 54.3 percent are male, while 424,392 representing 45.97 percent are female. The number of PVCs collected across the state as at 30th September 2019 is 889,308, representing 96.3 percent, with 33,874 PVCs, representing 3.7 percent, uncollected. 45 parties in Bielsa State, fielding 42 male and 3 female candidates, and 23 in Kogi, Building 21 male and two female candidates will be on the ballot. However, no political party nominated a person with disability as governorship or deputy governorship candidate. All non sensitive materials for the elections have been delivered to both Bielsa and Kogi states and have been appropriately batched in line with the Commission's plans. Training of ad hoc staff has been intense and concluded yesterday in Kogi State, while Bielsa is concluding today. The Commission is similarly concerned about possible voter harassment, inducement, including vote buying, and other sundry violations of the Electoral Act. I must re-emphasize that voters are not allowed to carry their mobile phones or any photographic devices into the voting cubicles on election day. We are going to deepen our collaboration with the EFCC and the ICPC. The two agencies will continue to keep their eyes on movement of cash during the electioneering campaigns and on election day.